Y'all see my little laundry room. Okay. Anyway, so my grocery shopping today. Um, shave steak. Um, three packs. They have these for $6 digital coupon at um, Kroger. Um, basically, everything you see is from Kroger. Um, white mushrooms. Brown eggs. Um, white eggs. Now, me personally... I can't tell the difference between the brown and right white. They all taste the same to me. You know, I like eggs, so um, I had a coupon for this. Okay, so since I had a coupon for this, I went on and utilized. Had a coupon for this, went on and utilized it. Cause me, I kind of like portobello mushrooms, but since I had a coupon, I bought it. Um, little cheese. Okay, this is a buttermilk blue, and. This one I actually tasted while I was at the store is a Hatch Pepper Gouda. So it is very good. The um, pepper catches you off guard, but it's not overly spicy. Then I got me some cottage cheese and some Siggy yogurt. Um, coupon, coupon. So now we go over here. I actually got two gallons of 2% milk. The other one's in the refrigerator already. I got a half gallon of whole milk. Had a coupon for these, so that's why I bought them. I'm not a big almond milk, um, silk milk, whatever you want to call it, type fan. I'd rather drink regular milk. Um, I don't like the taste of them. That's, that's the reason. If you like it, hey, knock yourself out. I don't like the taste of it, and I think the cost is just freaking outrageous for these. Okay, you can say they're healthy all day, whatever, but the cost of these is just freaking outrageous. Um, I got uh, Yukon Golds. I like these because I don't have to peel them. I can cut them, boil them, salt and pepper, a little butter, toss, toss. They're ready. Perfect, perfect meal, perfect meal prep type starch because it doesn't require much work. Um, I like yams. I will peel these, cut these in chunks. Brown sugar, cinnamon, butter, toss, toss, boom, perfect. They had this for two ninety nine. This I'm actually eating tonight. Okay, it's actually two in here, and they're eight ounces each. Okay, so I'm eating them tonight. Okay, so I got some cod and I got some swa. Now, me personally, I figure if I go down Whole Foods or Fresh Market, I can get the cod, swa, and salmon. But these are perfect. Now, me personally, I like barbecue sauce, so coupon for these um i got a charred ends barbecue sauce and believe it or not this one right here is for two tablespoons it's um nine grams of sugar you know what i'm saying so and the sodium so you can get it clear yep sodium's 280 so and i think this charred ends one is 12 grams of sugar. So it's more sugar in the chart in one than it is actually in the honey maple one. So essentially, that's how we're doing this. And in case you're wondering why I got this milk, it's because over there is four containers of protein powder. So I'm going to bump my protein powder consumption up. Um, I have those four and I have, I think, two more in my storage room. So I'm going to bump my protein powder up. One of those is an MRE Light by um, Redcon. Okay, and um, so I have plenty of protein powder, so I'm actually going to have some additional milk to drink with it. And these are my go-out-the-doors. I know some of y'all might say, that's a lot of sugar. Um, but these are my go-out-the-doors, because a lot of times in the morning, I'm running to do things. So I'll, I can grab one of these, sip on it. By the time I get back, I've only drank like half a can, because once they get hot, I don't like to drink them. So... And this is a zero sugar one that um, I drink a lot of zero sugars. And I bought plenty of water. So we're going to meal prep um, and get on our grind. Drink plenty of water. With these cheeses, for those of y'all who are trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them, the cheese has the dairy, so you got the vitamin D. The cheeses have some fat in it. They add taste to your food. Um, well, you don't actually have to add salt and pepper. You can actually use one of these. But I'm actually going to use these to make mac and cheese. Yes, macaroni and cheese. You heard me. Because um, I like macaroni and cheese. So never 
never deprive yourself of what you like, okay, when you're putting your meals together. You know, if you like macaroni and cheese, put some macaroni and cheese with it, okay? If you like eight pounds of spinach, put eight pounds of spinach with it, you know? If you don't drink regular milk, okay, drink whatever, you know, milk you like. If you don't like milk, drink water. If you don't like water, drink diet soda. If you like Pepsi, drink Pepsi, you know? In the morning, if you want grits and toast, make grits and toast, you know? So, you know, when you're doing your meal prep, do it to your satisfaction, okay? The whole essential thing is meal prep to me is when I'm hungry, I can go in and grab one, throw it in the microwave, okay? I can count the number I have. If I know it's eight in there, I know I got eight meals, okay? So if I have one a day, I know, boom, I got eight days worth of food in there, okay? So if you mix it up, like if I take a swath and cod, and I'm actually going to go get some ground beef because um, I like ground beef. Um, so if I make three ground beef meals, two swa meals, three cod meals, it's eight meals. But it's three different things. Okay. So I can mix it up. Ground beef one day, cod the next, swa the next. Then, you know, repeat the cycle. But you got to do what you got to do and enjoy what you're eating. You can't worry about what the next person say. What you should do is, I don't eat asparagus, don't like asparagus, okay? There's a lot of vegetables I don't like, okay? I got broccoli in here. Um, I like potatoes. I got plenty of rice. So eat what you want to eat. Don't worry about what the next man say you shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody always trying to push you in their direction, okay? And then you have to ask, okay, are they eating the same way? In the direction they're getting me to pushing me to. Like some people say, you need to eat vegan. Why? Why do I need to eat vegan? And they can say, well, it's healthier for you. Why are you saying it's healthier for me? How many people you know that are vegan started eating vegan at the age of 10 and they now 120 years old? You know, I mean, that's, you know, I'm being facetious about that, excuse me. But you see what I'm saying. People say that something is healthier, but. It's not like they're not pointing at somebody to you that you can go sit down and talk to that's 90 years old and says, yes, I've been, I ain't had no meat in 40-something years. You know, things run their course when it comes to food, when it comes to healthy eating. Things run their course. Atkins, keto, Mediterranean, paleo, vegan, um, pescatarian. You know, things like that run their course, okay? And don't hop on a bandwagon because it's the latest thing, okay? Because they'll, like, these, to me, they put the word organic on products to justify jacking up the cost, okay? I don't know, I don't know about organic mushrooms, okay? Hell, they, they in the dirt, okay? Um, water, okay? I don't know what type of feed. You're saying you got cage-free organic eggs. Okay, what do you mean by cage-free? Do you mean that the chickens get to run around? Okay. White eggs the same way. Chickens can run around and lay white eggs. So, I don't get caught up in labels and fads. I eat what I like and that's what I try to push off to the next man. Eat what you like. You know what I'm saying? Eat what makes you happy. Okay? Eating, don't put yourself in such a box that, um, don't put yourself in such a box that you're not, you know, eating a, eating three or four cookies, okay? Don't think that, okay, well, I'm doing this, I can't, I can't eat no cookies, I can't eat no chips. Don't do that to yourself. Because what you, what you'll find out is, if you put yourself into that box where you're, depriving yourself of something that you want you're making it hard on yourself you're making it hard on your body you know what i'm saying if you want four cookies eat four cookies you know what i'm saying if you want some chips get some chips you know even if you don't have chips in the house there's nothing wrong like i have these okay i got them from the dollar tree i eat half a bag i'm happy you know what i'm saying um because that's what i like okay I got some cookies, okay? 
eat five or six cookies during the course of the day. You know, you get up at night because me, I don't sleep like I should. So get up at night, you know, boom, I get two, three cookies, maybe a glass of milk. Then I go to bed. <laughs> I go back in my room. OK, you know, um, if you want to keep cookies in the house, then heck, when you go to the gas station, buy you a small sleeve of cookies. You know what I'm saying? A small sleeve is might be what? Six, seven Oreos in there. Wherever you're going, eat your six, seven Oreos on the way while you're drinking your water. You know, <laughs> it's not going to cause you harm. It's going to take care of a satisfaction that you're seeking. And you're going to necessarily solve that crisis at the moment. And then when you get home, you pull out one of your meals, pop it in the microwave. Guess what? Okay, the cookies add a few more calories to your day. But what if that 200 calories worth of cookies that you ate, you didn't already burnt off because you don't went for a 20 or 30 minute walk. Okay, you don't been in the weight room. So, you know, don't, don't let your eating get so caught up that you can't enjoy life. You know, you get to a certain point in life where you're not, your body fat is not going to come to five, six percent when you get a six pack. Okay. You know, if you stabilize your weight or if you, if you're 200 now and you say, well, my aim is 140. I don't know why you would go down to 140, but you, you know what y'all, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. So essentially, you're saying, okay, I want to drop some weight. <laughs> Set small goals, okay? And don't get on the scale every week because that's the problem with some people. Some people get on the scale every week and they and they don't realize that the body fluctuates during the course of the day, okay, as far as their weight, okay? So don't get on the scale every single week, okay? If you've been eating the way you want to eat, exercising the way you want to exercise and you get on a scale in three weeks and you say, okay, boom, I dropped three pounds. Then you say, cool. Okay. You can start putting in your head. Okay. Every three weeks I want, my aim is to drop three pounds. Okay. But if you do it in three more weeks and you see that, okay, my weight is down a pound and a half. Okay. It's down a pound and a half. The objective is it's still going down. Okay. So you can't get upset because you didn't drop three pounds that three week time frame. Okay. The objective is it's still going down. As long as as long as it's trending downward, then be happy with that. Accept small victories because there's major rewards at the end. One.